Interesting Facts About the Human Body The human body is the main living organism of the human being. It's composed of many different parts, fluids, and internal organs that work together to maintain life. In this video, we are going to see interesting facts about the human body. The human brain is the most complex object in the universe, and we're still just beginning to understand it. We're finding that the brain is a battleground of competing impulses and ideas and contains within it a complicated system of checks and balances. It contains billions of neurons that are connected to one another by an elaborate network of synapses. Learning about neuroscience can be fascinating and it can also be very confusing. Fortunately, there are a variety of organizations that have begun to provide educational materials for those who want to learn more about how this organ operates. Your heart is the only organ that never restarts once it stops working. The heart is the largest muscle in our body, and it's the only organ that never restarts once it stops working. Cardiac arrest occurs when the heart suddenly stops pumping blood. When this happens, there isn't enough blood to carry oxygen to the brain, which leads to permanent damage to brain cells. If you or someone near you experiences cardiac arrest, call for emergency help immediately. How 3 pounds of skin can protect the human body Skin is the human body's largest organ. It weighs about 3 pounds and covers the entire body to provide protection against germs, bacteria, and other harmful substances. The skin is also important because it helps regulate our temperature and keeps us from losing water to the environment. The outermost layer of skin is called the epidermis. It protects against infection by secreting an oily substance called sebum that lubricates the surface of the skin so germs can't get in easily. We lose weight by breathing. It might sound unbelievable, but the simple act of breathing can help you to lose weight. According to a study, people who took part in a 10-week program that involved breathing exercises and yoga were able to lose around 18 pounds on average. Not only did they shed fat, but they also lowered their blood pressure and reduced their stress levels. People who were overweight or obese were more likely to be affected by high blood pressure and high cholesterol levels than people with a healthy weight. Therefore, it is not just about losing weight with the help of breathing exercises and yoga. It is also about developing a lifestyle that will improve your overall health. There is an alarm system in your body. The body has an alarm system that is intended to help it defend itself against all types of dangers. The alarm system in the body operates on three levels. The first level detects and recognizes the existence of danger, while the second level evaluates the severity of the danger while also assessing whether or not it can be dealt with. The third level reacts to dangers once it has been determined that they cannot be dealt with by other means. Some people chew food 10 times or more while some other people do not chew food at all. It is not clear what are the health implications of this behavior. However, there are some studies that recommend chewing food only 6-8 times per meal. The number of chews people use when they eat is influenced by many factors. These factors include the type of food, the texture and size of the food, and even how much someone enjoyed their previous meal. Brain cells die every day. We all know that our brain cells are dying with every passing day. However, the actual number might make you fear for your future. It is estimated that about 14 billion cells die per day. What is not known to most people is the cause of this death. The reasons can be varied and complex, but they are most likely due to the age of the cells, lack of oxygen supply, or toxic substances that have penetrated into the cell's membrane. Your heart beats about 100,000 times a day. We can't feel it because it happens so quickly. Humans have a heart that has four chambers. The left and right atria are the two upper chambers, while the left and right ventricles are the two lower chambers of the heart. A valve is between each chamber for the blood to flow in one direction only. There are three main types of fat in your body. They are subcutaneous, visceral, and intramuscular. Subcutaneous fat is the layer of fat that lies directly under the skin. It is mainly used for insulation and protection from injury. Visceral fat is much more dangerous as it sits around your organs and causes bloating, poor circulation, heart disease, or diabetes. Lastly, intramuscular fats are stored in your muscles to provide energy during exercise. This type of fat burns much slower compared to the other two types because it's not visible on the outside of the body. What is the weight of your stomach contents? Your stomach is a container that holds food, liquids, and other substances. It also contains a number of digestive juices, which break down the food you have eaten into smaller parts that are more easily absorbed by your body. 
There is no definite answer to this question. It partly depends on what you have been eating, how much your stomach can hold, and whether you have just had a drink or not. The body of a human is not just for show. It is amazing what it can do. The body is able to heal itself by removing old cells and replacing them with new ones. The human brain has always been intriguing to learn about, but there are still many mysteries left about how it works. So there will be more discoveries in the future on how our body really works.